Okay, so I think it's pretty unanimous that the M1 Max MacBook Pro is absolutely incredible. By far the best powerhouse content creation laptop I've ever had in my life and every single content creator that I've talked to has said the exact same thing. The only question is, which is better, the 16 inch or the 14 inch? Now I do need to make an apology on the first M1 Max video I made. I said that the 14 inch and the 16 inch had different specs, but you can actually spec them the exact same, but there are differences. Now immediately after the keynote, when the M1 Max MacBook Pros were announced, I ordered a fully specced out 16 inch MacBook Pro in space gray. It cost an insane amount of money and I've never done that without like thinking about it for a long time. But I knew how good it would be for my business and for this channel. And I knew any time saved would lead to massive profits over the year or few years that I used use this and for me time is the absolute most valuable thing so even if it saved me 10 hours in one year I would definitely pay for that I will say though space gray the silver this is the play especially with this black background of the keyboard just looks looks so good. These are absolutely wild computers. Literally nothing bothers me about either of them. They're, the battery life is insane. The displays are so good. The keyboard is great. The speakers are awesome. I've never heard the fans to this day and they are blazing fast. If you can bog down an M1 Max MacBook Pro, congrats. Well played. Now while the 16 inch is absolutely incredible, it's also huge. It's by far the biggest laptop that I have ever owned in my life. And it feels more like a 17 inch than a 15 inch to me. It just feels very big, which I don't mind at all. Give me all of the power except for one thing. And because of that one thing, yeah, yeah I did, I ordered a 14 inch also fully specced out. So let's answer the question, which one is better? Which one should you buy? To do that, we need to look at the differences. The first difference and probably one of the biggest things that you're looking at is the price. Now there isn't actually that big of a difference in price between the two. A fully maxed out, fully specced out 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro will cost you $6,099. Whereas the 14 inch fully specced out one will cost you $5,899. So only a $200 difference. And that doesn't seem that crazy when you're talking about many thousands of dollars. Battery life, the 16 inch is the king. It is absolutely insane how good the battery life is. And Apple rates the 16 inch at 21 hours of video playback. I think that's how they kind of measure their battery life. Whereas the 14 inch only has 17 hours, which is still very, very, very good, but it's not 21 hours, which is absolutely insane. So if you need the, the best battery life, the 16 inch is your guy. The display sizes are obviously different. They're both really, really nice. And I would say the 14 inch is more than enough for me to edit videos. And when you do need more screen, you can easily just plug it in. So I feel like just for the display size, I probably wouldn't go for the 16 inch unless it's like the only thing you use. You're not gonna use any external monitors or anything like that and you edit from home most of the time. 16 inch is, is great. One big difference that most people will probably overlook is that the trackpad is actually way bigger on the 16 inch than it is on the 14 inch. It's, it's I would say it's like, uh, probably like a third bigger just looking at it, which is which is a pretty big difference. And nowadays, I don't edit using a mouse at all. I've gone full trackpad, which is really interesting. I like being able to just open up the laptop and start editing right away and not have to always carry around a mouse and then find a place to put the mouse. I really like being able to edit just from a trackpad. Now I haven't noticed a huge difference like that I'm like bumping into the side of the trackpad the whole time or anything like that 
but that is something to keep in mind if you're trying to find an all-in-one editing solution versus the 14 inch, maybe you will need a mouse or maybe you will need one of those bigger track pads. I almost forgot, it's time for a giveaway because this episode is sponsored by ArcGrid. ArcGrid is a platform to get super high quality footage for your videos with an affordable, unlimited subscription at a very affordable price. ArcGrid makes it really easy to find high quality footage. You can search by video theme, shot type, or even the number and types of people. And the best part is when you find that clip that you really like, it's not just one clip, it's three to a hundred clips from that same theme, location, or even narrative, which they call a story. So for example, if I really like this clip, I click on it, and then down below you have all of these other clips from that same setting that you can use to now actually tell your story. The biggest problem I find with stock footage is that it only really fits these videos where it's like a random collage of footage, whereas with ArtGrid you can actually tell tell stories in the way that you personally would film them. One subscription gives you access to the whole library and when you download footage from ArcGrid, that becomes yours to use for Ever. Even if you cancel your subscription in the future, you can still use that footage. I actually used ArtGrid for the NMO launch video and it was just really easy to find high quality footage. Highly recommend it. Sign up right now with the link down below and you'll get two extra months for free. Thank you ArtGrid for sponsoring this video. We're gonna be partnering up with them for the whole year. And because I always wanna give away something when I'm doing these, this time I'm gonna give away three mentoring calls with you. An hour to ask me anything you want about filmmaking, about YouTube business, anything you want. I want to help you get further in your career. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like the video and comment down below with your Instagram handle and your biggest pain point. What are you struggling with right now as a creator? I'll choose three people. Can't wait to see how I can help you guys out. Then there's the size and weight difference. So the 14 inch is 3.5 pounds and 1.55 centimeters thick, whereas the 16 inch is 4.7 pounds and 1.68 centimeters thick. Now, especially that, that thickness doesn't sound like much of a difference, 1.55 centimeters and 1.68 centimeters, and for all you Americans are like, I don't, I don't know what those centimeters are. It doesn't seem like much, but you can definitely tell the difference. You don't necessarily notice it when you're looking at the two, but when you're using it, you can feel where your hand is. There, there is a difference there, and I prefer the 14 inch much better in, in terms of the thickness of it. And then of course, if you're traveling, weight is always gonna be an issue if you're hiking somewhere, if you're traveling long days, an extra pound and a bit in your backpack, you're gonna feel it. So again, some benefits to the 14 inch. Along with that, the charging brick is also quite a bit bigger for the 16 inch. And so again, that's more weight, more size in your, in your backpack, uh, all things to consider, but this, I love the cable and I love, I love that they brought back MagSafe. Well done. Now I don't know how much people use the speakers of a laptop, but the 16 inch definitely has better sound than the 14 inch. It's much bassier, much more full than the 14 inch. The 14 inch is still really good, but the 16 inch, this is the best sound that I've ever heard from a laptop by far. I'll give you a little taste here. So this is the 14 inch. Yeah, YouTube is, is like, obviously it's the second biggest search engine. It's like a massive traffic driver. I think one thing that we've noticed is like the cr And this is the 16 inch. YouTube is, is like, obviously it's the second biggest search engine. It's like a massive traffic driver. I think one thing that we've noticed is like the creators who are really I don't know if you guys could hear that, but there's definitely a difference. By the way, great episode, Colin Samir uh, with MKBHD. I, I really like what Colin and Samir are doing, and I also just love the steady nature of MKBHD. Mark has just, he just keeps going. It, it feels like nothing bothers him, and he just keeps going and keeps just succeeding in massive ways. So uh, I really like this episode. I recommend checking it out. There is also a high power mode to boost the performance of the M1 Max on the 16 inch, and the 14 inch doesn't have that. But honestly, who needs more power? I, not once have I thought like, 
man, this this needs some more performance or like it's really struggling with this editing or this footage or anything like that. So in theory, you can get more performance out of the 16 inch, even though it has the same specs. Maybe that's good for when we're all editing our, our videos in 8K, but for now, it's it's a little overkill. But that's kind of it. They literally did keep pretty much all of the same stuff in the 14 inch that's in the 16 inch, which is incredible. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say right away, I love both. Both are absolutely incredible. I could not say more good things about these computers. And you can't go wrong with either of them. Both of them are great. The 16 inch could easily be your all-in-one computer. You do not need a desktop nowadays. This is it. If you need more screen, just plug some screens in. But this is incredible. But for me, the 14 inch is the perfect size. If I had to choose just one computer, I think I would go with the 14 inch. It's so powerful. The display is big enough. If you need more display, just plug it in. The battery life is really great, not as good, but honestly, how many of us really need that much battery life? Usually we can plug the computer in. And the biggest thing for me is traveling with this 14 inch will be so fun, so nice. This is so convenient. Whereas if we're gonna go travel with the 16 inch, whew, this guy is a beefy boy. So overall, I would say if you are an editor, content creator, creative professional that works the majority of the time, like 99% of the time from home or an office and you're kind of just going back and forth between like one or two spots, the 16 inch is probably the way to go. Just go full on, get the best thing you can. You won't regret it. But if you do travel a lot, then I think the 14 inch is the way to go. And that's kind of why I ended up with both. This will definitely be the travel laptop. Whereas the 16 inch, I really like editing with this at the office at home. If I edit from home, both are great. You cannot go wrong with these laptops. It's never been this easy for me to recommend a laptop when somebody asks like, what computer should I get? M1 is the way to go. Any of the M1s are incredible. Highly recommend them, fully worth it. These are the best laptop computers ever made for a creative professional. All right, hope you guys like this one. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Can't wait to make more videos and stay tuned for all of the new stuff like Enemote, Enemote, Enemote drops. All right, bye.